Hey, what's up everybody? It's Joe Simpson. I had something new show up in the mail. I wanted to walk through it and share it with you guys today. It is called The Booby Trap by Lawless Lures. And if you guys remember a video uh, about a week and a half, two weeks ago, I put out with a special worm rigging that was a little less complicated than the INU rig or the ENU rig. I've been corrected in how I say that. My idea actually came from Lawless Lures because that's the first time I'd ever seen a rigging like this. But it was brought to my attention by a couple subscribers that that rigging has been around for a while. So I'm gonna use it, but I also, um, ordered the lures that come from Lawless Lures and it comes in a package of three different colors. You get three hooks and you get, I think it's a total of nine baits. The package looks like this. It comes with uh, everything you need inside. Inside you'll see three colors. You've got a black, kind of a fish shad looking color and then kind of a green bass looking color. And then there's uh, three hooks on the bottom. You'll notice the one in the middle is missing because I've already lost one. So I took these out the other day and tried it out. The action is really awesome. And I'm not sure if this time of year is the best time of year to be using this bait, but I'm gonna try it a few more times. Unfortunately, before I was able to catch a fish, I did get snagged on a tree and lost one of the baits, one of the hooks, which tells me if you get this set up, you might wanna get a few more of the hooks just to be safe. On the back of the box, they tell you how to rig this thing up. It's pretty simple. So I'm gonna walk you guys through what you do to get these things rigged. First thing you're gonna notice is this hook has like a T-bar across it. You see that little piece of metal that goes across it right there? It has a little bit of a bend up near the hoop. And otherwise, it just looks kind of like a wacky rig hook. The bait looks kind of like a swim bait. Um, but one side of the bait has like an open gill side, and that's where the hook comes out. And then, of course, there's the hole in the bottom, which unlike most people that are using a tube for the homemade version, this uses kind of like a, looks like a plastic rivet. So it looks like it's gonna be more durable, less likely to rip the bait. The bait has pretty good elasticity, but it does snap back into shape. I think that movement actually helps it with the action that it needs to recoil and come back and forth. Instead of trying to push this hook up through and get it out of the tip, I bring the hook through the front first and I make kind of like what I would call a pilot hole. So I go through the tip, just like this. And I try to trace it down and what I do is I try to find, I try to find the split. You see the front of my hook is coming through that split right there. I finish it off. All right, you see how I'm coming through pretty much where I wanna be, right in the middle. And then I just back it out. Once I have that pilot hole, I can turn the hook around and then push it up through. Once you're done, you end up with a fairly aggressive looking rigging like this. And you can see that T-bar up under there fits snugly. And then you attach a piece of line here, take that line and you go through that hole in the bottom, back through here. And when you pull this line, this bait will do this. And I'll put a picture or a, a video of that bait and its action so you can see it. Um, the action's outstanding. And I'll have to say the worm that I created works pretty good too. So that might be something to consider. If you go back to my video, I'll try to link it above here uh, with my rigging. I call it the lawless rig because it's similar to what this is. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys today. Hopefully you can uh, maybe get a hold of these, try them out in your area and see if they work in your ponds or lakes or wherever you're fishing. And I would think maybe even saltwater would work as well. I think wherever there's little fish and there's big fish eating the little fish, why not? Um, Okay, so I went out the other day. Pat and I met up at a place that was kind of unusual for us to be fishing, but it was a pond out past Leesburg. And um, Leesburg, not Sleesburg. I slur my words together, so sorry. Anyway, we're out in Leesburg, Virginia, and we're fishing in a pond behind this pie place. And uh, I had made, of course, my spinner baits. I had probably a thousand spinner baits now because I've made so many. But I ordered a little heavier wire. It's a .40 wire and a half ounce. And I made kind of a, a orange, colored spinnerbait, a sparkly Colorado blade with a number five or six um, gold blade. And I have pumpkin green in the front and I have the orange with a little streak of fluorescent orange in there. And it was fun because I went down there and I threw this thing around and uh, caught a couple little ones, but I caught a fatty. So I wanted to leave you guys with that fish catch. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching the channel and coming back, guys. I appreciate it. Anything that I'm doing this winter, I will definitely uh, include you all and uh, bring you in and show you some things that I'm working on. 
Um, if you all have any feedback or have any requests on any types of videos you want to see, just let me know below in the notes and I'll be sure to try to put that together for you. Thanks again. Don't forget to like and subscribe and your support is what I'm all about. I don't know if I can get this in. Sure would be nice. Oh, that's a big one. Don't break. Don't break. Don't break. Oh. Pat! <laughs> what do you think he weighs? Five? That's homemade spinner bait. That's a good that's a good one, man. Oh my god, here. Catch him right on the corner there? Yeah, you might want to go shoot in there. Good God, look at that thing. There's good fish in here, man. Look at that thing, dude. I mean, he's every bit of That's he's a every bit chunker. Of, every bit of four. Oh, Straight I think up. he's I think he's a four and three at least. Yeah, Go, big boy. You know when you could just see the water, the water boiling? Yeah. Holy crap, dude.